We have talked a lot about the shortage of protective masks for both healthcare workers and patients, but some clinics say they also need other supplies. Our Caitlin Heck joins us live from her home with more on how some Central Georgians are helping out. So Caitlin, what do healthcare yes, workers say they, they need? They need disposable gowns. I talked to Kim Hickman. She is a nurse practitioner at Perry Family uh, Clinic, and she said that the virus can get on their clothes or their scrubs and can easily be passed from one patient to the next. And the way that they can reduce that risk is by wearing disposable gowns and changing them in between treating patients. The problem is, just like those masks, they ran out of those gowns very, very quickly. So Delise Knight, she's the owner of Bardell Bows in Fort Valley, got together with her team and came up with a way to make them out of plastic bags, tape, and ribbon. A little ingenuity, I like it. She posted a video on YouTube showing other people how to make them as well. Uh, Knight wasn't able to talk to us on camera this morning, but says she is just so glad she was able to fill this need. Hickman tells me she's already made her clinic 250 gowns already and is now helping healthcare workers all around Houston County. The hospital contacted me, Perry, Houston County both, uh, regarding gown shortage because they don't have any either. And so we put them in touch with Delise Knight and Delise was able to send a truckload of gowns. Chase Foundation out of Fort Valley, they are asking for donations to help Delise with these gowns. So if you want to donate, they say you can either mail in a check or donate through Venmo. I'll have all the details on this story on 13WMAZ.com with how you can donate. And th that money will go to help pay for some of those supplies. And Erin, it's just another way that people are coming together using a little creativity and what resources they have to help out during this time. And I just love it. I do too. I love seeing all these good deeds, Caitlin. Thank you for sharing that.